Okay, now let's talk about one more concept within this whole structure area of fatty acids. So we have talked already about how fatty acids can have double bonds in them and that kind of makes a kink in them. Now one of the challenges with these double bonds is that they are susceptible to oxidation. And so in the food industry back in, you know, back many decades ago, they wanted to um, perform some kind of reaction so that these um, double bonds in the fats would not be so susceptible to oxidation and could also help solidify their products a little bit more. So they, uh, they started using a process of hydrogenation where they add hydrogens to the fatty acid. So let's look at an example here. We're starting off with oleic acid. This is a monounsaturated fatty acid. So we see it has one double bond. If we go through the process of hydrogenation, where we add hydrogen gas, and then we also use nickel as a catalyst, then we can add hydrogens to these, uh, where there was previously a double bond, and now we can make it a completely saturated fatty acid. This would yield steric acid, a saturated fatty acid. Now, frequently in the food industry, they would use a, they would do a partial hydrogenation. So some of the fatty acids in their fluid would become uh, fully saturated and some would stay as, um, have, as monosaturated and that would change the compound, the kind of the consistency of the, of the fluid. So they would be more solid and it would have a longer shelf life. Now, what ends up happening though, is as a side reaction of, um, of this hydrogenation process, we would end up generating another type of fatty acid that is still has a double bond in it, but in a different conformation. And these are the trans fatty acids. Now, what I did, uh, failed to point out before we started, so this monounsaturated fatty acid that we started with, we see that it, the two hydrogens are on the same side of the molecule. And that makes this a cis monounsaturated fatty acid. The side product that can occur during this hydrogenation process creates what are called trans fatty acids. And we can see that it still has a double bond in it, but that we have hydrogens on either side of that double bond. And that makes a trans fatty acid. And later on, we will talk about how these trans fatty acids have some pretty negative health outcomes and um, influence how our body can metabolize 